There's no magic answer. I'm not going to say go be self-employed because that brings with it its whole host of other problems. But I think that most people who are not the superstars who don't get spit out by corporate America. I mean, if you are a brilliant computer programmer who's also got business skills, the, you know, corporate America is going to welcome you with open arms. But if you are your normal person, you're 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 middle of the road person, let alone below average. Half of us are below average. If you are that person, you probably have to make peace with the idea that the stable 40-hour-a-week benefited job for life is over and that you need to have what I call the multi-ring circus life. There is a client who I have, for example, who has fashioned a very interesting, although unstable, life by five hours a week. She works uh, for, a, for Planned Parenthood writing donor solicitation letters. For five hours a week, she's a nanny. For, she makes YouTube videos of her songs. She sells them for a buck a piece on iTunes. She goes and she works on Saturdays at Ikea selling furniture. So she's got a four-ring circus life, which total make a decent living. And because she is uncovered under Obamacare, she's not worried about the health care thing. Um, that's the way I think most people are going to end up having to, to live in this new world of hollowed-out middle class.